welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 2, episode 63. Okay, so two one-make events are down, and there are still many others to go, obviously. And so now, of course, we are going to head back, of course, to North City to get on with our third one-make race event in North City, which is the TT Challenge. And in order for us to do that, obviously, I will need to purchase this. The Audi TT 1.8T Quattro. And well, as for the colour, I did look to see what colours were available and well, I ultimately decided that well, since I liked, since I like this blue the most, I'm ultimately going to get this car in blue, just because I want to. And so now of course, I'm going to do my usual. Just put on some cheap little engine tuning, just to give myself a little bit more horsepower, even though I probably don't need it, but you know, just being precautious. And then, all I am going to do now is just head over to the first event. So yeah, the game basically selects the courses for you on which courses you are going to race at and... Ooh! We are going to Special Stage Route 5 for our first race. Well, since I don't need to do anything else, let's just do this shit. And shifting up into second gear. Because I would have thought for sure there was going to be some potential wheel spin coming from the car, and this is Special Stage Route 5 Reverse, which is another course I do not get to race on very often, and already in just a matter of one, sorry, two corners, I am already up into the lead. At the moment, of course, I'm actually battling for the lead. And try not to go for any sudden dives because I know for sure, even from my experience, that wouldn't have worked. But somehow, still able to retake the lead through the hairpin. Even though, at the moment, of course, this is a closely contested race at the moment. And even though it may not look like I'm spending lots of money at the moment, obviously, I'm definitely going to be spending a lot more than I'm currently spending, dependent on what cars I will need to use for future events. So it's basically inevitable that, obviously, I will need to do some grinding by pretty much winning Race 3 of the GT All-Stars probably lots of times in order to officially give myself enough money for each event that I am able to complete. And at the moment, of course, we have actually got a pretty closely contested race. Let me tell you, because these AI are keeping up with me at the moment pretty good here at Route 5, because surprisingly this is only the second time I've actually raced on a reverse course in this game, because most of the courses I've been racing on have been forward. I've never officially raced on a reverse course until until before I did the Aston Martin event, and coincidentally, this is only the second time I have officially raced on a reverse course in this game overall. It really is. Well, 
I think I have the advantage at the moment and that is not going to help me because I sort of dragged myself there on the wall even though I probably shouldn't have but I still did anyway. And now, at the moment of course I am managing to keep a slender margin to this AI and as long as I do not make any sudden cock-ups then obviously I should be on course to the win as I'm now heading through the tunnel in reverse and officially coming across the line now it is victory at SSR5 that was a close race just over a second between first and sixth that was a very closely contested race. Especially considering all of us were basically driving the same car, but anyways. Another seven grand for winning, and obviously what it is I'm going to do now is conduct the racing modifications. So, I was fairly certain I did reveal to you earlier on in the game that we do need to put on all three stages of weight reduction in order to officially conduct a successful racing modification. And ultimately overall that is essentially what I'm going to do. So just putting on all three stages of weight reduction because this is the only way you can officially install a racing mod in this game and well as for the colour itself oh, we've, we've actually got quite some good we've actually got some good ones here I do, I do like that piss. That is some nice piss there, which is yellow. And also, in my honest opinion, that's actually a good livery, but... You know what, fuck it, I'll get this thing in yellow. Just because... Just because it seems, you know, the brightest. And just as a precaution, Actually, no, I'm not going to put on the turbo. I'm going to put on the intercooler instead, because I dare to be different. And hopefully, if I am fortunate, that should give me enough horsepower to win. Let's head to our second race and see how we do. Considering I did not go for the stage 1 turbo, I instead went for... The racing intercooler. Just so I'm not making this look too easy. Also because I dare to be different. And I've pretty much done everything I need to do in order to be successful with this and well. As for the rims, I just don't think I'm going to be bothered in changing those. And I certainly made the correct decision to go for this car in yellow because I'm actually the only yellow racing modded Audi TT in this event. So my car is clearly the only one in yellow and oddly enough and oddly enough I've actually done this properly I think or he thinks I've done this properly as this is the Seattle circuit in reverse and only I believe the third time I have actually raced on one of these courses in reverse because obviously I couldn't be bothered to do the reverse races in the arcade mode because they didn't give me because they don't give me anything. So yeah, 
there is that. But meanwhile, more or less doing what I'm expecting myself to do against these AI, as I am now heading down the hill through these very much high speed jumps and colliding with the wall very much expectedly. Heading through the parking lot now, the final hairpin turn on the reverse course, under the bridge, there's the pits are just there, and now coming around to starting my second and final lap of the TT Challenge. So last lap around the death-defying chicane, which is essentially what I believe that is, personally. And now heading through these very much sharp left hand and right hand turns. Now heading under the bridges and heading across the street now, just surpassing the traffic lights, which are obviously green. and currently holding on to a slim lead over these AI who are trying to dive from me but I shall not allow them to pass because those sorts of moves are stupid but obviously because of how these AI can be very aggressive they will attempt to take you out if they get the opportunity and as I have discovered with this game they usually do. But again, it still doesn't doubt the fact on how amazing, even by today's standards, this game still is. But meanwhile, heading through the final hairpin turn now on the reverse course, I once again have the interval to these AI, more or less where I'm expecting myself to be. And the piss yellow Audi TT has won the racing modded race. As I won that race by just under 7 tenths out of the second place Audi and gap overall with his AI only 1 and a quarter seconds basically. But yeah. There we go. So that was the racing modified race of the TT Challenge. Or the racing homologation, I should say, of the TT Challenge. And my yellow Audi Quattro has emerged victorious for the win. my eyebrows. But anyways. So we're going to save this replay. Plus I'm also trying to hold in the butt. Anyways. So there we go. All I need to do now is get my video thumbnails. But anyways. The TT challenge is now complete. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I keep backing out of the events, but now of course we are officially 59.81% complete with this game. And my win ratio is now back up to 83%, which is nice. And all I need to do now is purchase two more cars, and then I've reached my maximum number of purchases on cars I can make. But anyways... So, the TT challenge is now complete, 
right, so next up will be the Volkswagen Golf Cup. Let's over that. Stay tuned for more GTC.